In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform an alignment in Mr. Vista. To begin with, I have navigated to my working directory in MATLAB the, that has my Mr. Session dot mat file in it. And I'm going to go over to my command window and to open it up, I'm going to type MLR. And that's going to open up an in-plane window. To open up the alignment, you want to go up to edit and then click on edit slash view alignment. Now you can see that's loaded up a number of different boxes. Uh, what we've got over here, the prescription on volume box and these orange lines that you can see here are uh, our slices. So the first thing that we want to do is move them around so that they're in the position that they were in when we acquired our functional data. So in my case, that was the occipital cortex, so I'm going to have to move them back to here. And you can do that using the sliders up here. I don't know what, I don't know why I just moved it. I think I accidentally clicked something. Um, <clears throat> so you've got um, translate up down, which will move them up and down. And as I move that, you can see that the prescribed slice box is changing. Um, and what we're trying to do is get this prescribed slice to match this reference EPI slice over here. So I'm going to move those to about there. Then we've got translate anterior posterior. So I want to move it towards the back more. <clears throat> um, and those are probably the only ones that you're mainly going to need to change. Um, once you get that looking reasonable as it does now, you just want to try and refine that a little bit. So I normally go up to this RX slice box up here and that just moves through the functional slices that you have. So I have 37 um, and I just take it all the way to the end and you can see obviously here that these slices need to be moved back more. So I'm going to do that. Um, so about there, that looks, that looks like it's matching. And then we can go and look a little bit more carefully and just look for parts of the white matter which appear as darker gray in your functional slices and um, see if they match up in both of these images. So we've got this kind of U up here and you can see that over here in our white matter. Uh, down here, there's uh, a gyrus coming off here, and you can see that echoed in the EPI. So I'm pretty happy with the way that's looking at the moment. So what you want to do is save the best rotational volume by going to File, Save, Mr. Align, Best Road Vol. Um, and that just means that if you have to stop doing the alignment at this point, you can load this back in and you're not going to have to rearrange your slices again. <clears throat> At this point, you're ready to start performing the alignment. So what you want to do, make sure you've got this top uh, Mr. RX box selected and hit Control P or Command P if you're on a Mac. And you can see that that's made the reference slice box yellow and it says select point on reference slice. So what we're doing now is selecting a point in this image and then we're going to have to go across to the prescribed slice box and select the corresponding point um, and try and get them as close as you possibly can to the exact same position. Uh, so I'm going to select uh, point here. I usually find it easier to select points at the um, at the ends of uh, the white matter or at the gyrus. Um, so once you've done that, you are going to hit Q on the keyboard for quit, 
and it's going to go back to normal. Um, what we need to do is put one of these points on every single Rx slice that we possibly can. So I have 36 slices, so I'm going to want to have as close as I can to 36 points. You might not have that many, but I'll explain why uh, when we get to that point. So what I then do is I go up to the Mr. Rx box, to the Rx slice slider, and I just click um, this white space here, and that's going to move it forward three. Um, so now we're on the fourth slice, and I'm going to select another point. So again, make sure you've got this box selected, hit Control p and now we're just going to select another point. So this time I'm going to try and select it from the opposite cerebral hemisphere. So last time we did the right hemisphere, uh, so this time I'm going to try and select a point from the other side and select it uh, kind of further away, so maybe up here. Like that, Q for quit, and jump forward another three slices. And I'm just going to repeat that until I get all the way to the end. You can make these boxes bigger if that makes it easier to select points. And you can also adjust the brightness and contrast of the images. Um, see if that makes it a bit easier to see. Okay, so I'm now on my 34th slice and you can see that there isn't any white matter left in these images. So I'm not even going to try and select a point here from this point forward. I'm just going to go ahead and perform the alignment. In order to do that, go up uh, in your Mr. Rx box to Alignment, down to Fine, and click on From Selected Points. Uh, and you might have sort of seen that that just shuffled the images around a bit. And if you go over into your MATLAB window, you can see that we've got a mean error of fit for each point. Um, and they're pretty high. What we're aiming to do is get every one of these values, ideally down to less than one. You might not be able to get it to less than that for every single point, but for most of them, you want it to be less than one. So what I'm going to do next <clears throat> is save that alignment by going to File, Save, Mr. Vista Alignment. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to start with my second slice this time and continue doing the exact same thing. Um, and you want to try and make sure that your points are on the are switching hemispheres with each slice. So last time um, we've got a point over here in the right hemisphere. So for this slice, I'm going to select a point from the left hemisphere. Okay, so now I've reached the end of the slices again. We're simply going to repeat the same process. Go to alignment, find from selected points, and you can see now I've got a mean error for all the points, and you can also see that a lot of them are starting to get very close to one or lower. There are a couple that are a bit higher, um, but we still have the third set of slices to go, so by the time that's done, those mean errors will all be looking pretty pretty good. So I'm going to go back and um, save the alignment again. Every time it gets a little bit better, you want to save it. And at this point, I would just go through repeating the exact same process for the last set of slices which I'm not going to do now, but that's all you need to do to finish the alignment. Um, 
You can delete points um, if you make a mistake or if any of the mean errors are just really, really high. Like, say, for example, one of them was, you know, up in the 40s or 50s when the rest of them were low. Um, and just redo that point. So to do that, go to your Mr. Rx box, click on edit, go down to points and select delete points. And you can simply select um, one or multiple points um, and hit OK and that will delete that point or those points and you can just do them again. Uh, so that's about all. Uh, that's how you do an alignment in Mr. Vista. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much for watching.